More information today about a Charlotte County man accused of running a Ponzi scheme that cost investors millions of dollars. SNN Local News 6 reporter Howie Grace has this update. On Monday, Patrick Rakatana Nahari turned himself into the Fort Myers FBI field office. Officials allege that he built investors, mostly in Hawaii, out of over $10 million through a business known as Cyber Market Group, LLC. That business turned up an address at this UPS store in Fort Charlotte, and Rakatana Nahari's home on Nocturne Lane in Deep Creek was empty. I would see him coming in and out, uh, trucks, uh, equipment, they were fixing the house, then they would leave and be gone weeks, and then they would come back. Rakatana Nahari's resume was still online today, but we called the phone number listed and got a recording. Thank you for calling Cyber Market Group, LLC. On ripoffreport.com, we found two complaints from 2009 against Rakatana Nahari. He responded to them claiming that he was not running a hedge fund. They were not friendly. Not friendly at all. Law enforcement officials say the kind of schemes like the one Rakatana Nahari is accused of are usually easy to spot. Usually if it's too good to be true, it is. Um, you'd want to check on the investment itself to see if it's actually a legitimate investment. Um, interest rates right now are not paying 6% a week. And they say that the reason Rakatana Nahari may have been so successful in Hawaii instead of Florida is simple. If somebody offers you a 6% return on your investment, you're going to tell your friends. And you'll find, we find sometimes that it's mostly friends of friends of friends who are getting involved in it. Just like the Madoff thing, it's a, it's a generalized, localized group of people that are getting involved. Reporting in Charlotte County, Howie Grace, SNN, Local News 6. Rakatana Nahari is being held on 21 counts of wire fraud. And if convicted, he could face 20 years in prison and a fine of $250,000 for each count against him.